Contrary to the alarm, no one bought the farm. Remember that alert that went out in Hawaii? Everyone was told a ballistic missile was heading toward them. And they were put through 38 minutes of sheer hell. And then they were told it was a mistake. That only happened seven days ago. But it's forgotten as if decades have passed. <laughs> Beautiful Hawaii, nothing but warm beaches and smiling faces, but not way back in the year 2018. Back then, technology was primitive to say the least. One unlucky chap clicked the wrong item on a computer menu and holy hula skirts, statewide panic. The emergency management employee had accidentally set a false alarm about an incoming ballistic missile. For 38 minutes, gents and dames everywhere were hightailing it for cover. Well, mahalo for nothing. As for the employee, he's been reassigned. At least he didn't go out with a bang. So, why has this story fallen so quickly under the radar? Well, for one thing, you can't blame Trump for it, although some have tried with every fiber in their yogurt-fed being. But if you can't tie Trump to it, it's not a story. So what if parents were putting their children down manholes and priests were absolving flocks of people of their sins and families were tearfully saying goodbye to each other? The president said a naughty word, and that's all that matters. For more on the Hawaii story, let's see what others are reporting. It all goes back to the little tiki doll, doesn't it? <laughs> Tyrus, my, I can't believe that we don't talk about... This is like, just because it was a false alarm, we're not taking it seriously. And you know what? The, the part that really bothers me is it took 38 minutes. Yes, and they knew. Five minutes. 38 minutes. minutes. Well, for, before that, that, ballistic missile, that should be national security. I don't think yep. your local state... <laughs> should be taking care of that, obviously. But th in those True. in those 38 minutes, do you know how many marriages were ruined? Yes. <laughs> True. You know that moment where you're like, I never liked your mother. I only <laughs> stayed with you for the kids. Yeah. I'm the only That's one on this rough. panel old enough to remember duck and cover. Yeah. When I was a kid, we were scared out of our wits. The Russians were going to come. They were going to blow us up, but we would be saved because we got on our knees under our desks and prayed. Mm -hmm. And uh, that brought back these terrible, terrible memories. Yeah, it was, it, it was nuts, uh, Shelby. My, my wife was there. Thank God I wasn't wow. because I am like, I am oh the God. worst. I know. I would have I I covered myself in slow moving elderly. <laughs> and I, 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 I would have. I would have been, I would have been like, they would have been shields. Hey, hey. Hey, you insulting me here? <laughs> Come on. He's uh, the think... guy who had to apologize after the false alarm. Honey, dear, I, I, yeah. I didn't mean to kick you out of the refrigerator. Right? It was, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was like, I, I'm, yeah, I leave the family behind. Yep. No, I was going to look for help. Yeah. No, you, yeah, but you really can't imagine what it was like to be there. Right. And clearly this person had no business being near a button when we... Yeah. have heard so much about big, powerful buttons, and there are genuine fears that that button might be pushed. There are a few things that were really scary that came out of this news, though. The AP reported, according to a man who was contracted by DHS to study the wireless alert, it could take 30 minutes for other states to write and blast wow. a uh, message about a missile. That's yeah. a problem we should probably fix. Right. And a nationwide system for mobile devices has never been tested. Mm. These are things that just seem so simple. And the fear is that we've moved on so quickly from the yeah. from the news. Will they ever be fixed? We move quickly from everything. You think about the Vegas shooting. Look, yeah. we have like we act like that's like happened ten years ago and we still don't know what the hell happened. Kat, you said you disagree or what? I disagree. I don't think there should be any of these warnings at all. Oh, really? <laughs> Why? If you're gonna get missile bombed to death, what are you gonna do about it? Get a raincoat so you don't get wet? <laughs> gonna stock up on canned goods? You're never gonna get a chance to eat those canned goods. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. You know why not just let people live and then, you know, one second you're not? Well, you know, this is an interesting point. My, uh, the best response <laughs> I heard is the husband of my wife's friend. They were there for her birthday party, and he's Russian, and everybody's panicking. People are crying. His wife's crying, and he goes, go back to bed. If you wake up, all good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh.
And you can't get better than that. No. You can't get better than That's that. That's a cool dude. The one thing I got to say, uh, I love Hawaiian shirts, but it's weird when they're at a national security press conference. When they're in Hawaii. Is there, do you throw a tie over a Hawaiian shirt? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't get it. Anyway, I mean, I don't get it at a national security. I love Hawaiian shirts. I love them. Just not in a serious meeting. Yeah, it's incredible. You can wear them anywhere.